The vote is open. A joint decision. With so many different voices in the European Parliament, how do members manage to reach decisions? In June 2024, Europeans elected 720 members to the European Parliament. MEPs come from all 27 EU countries and from more than 200 political parties. That's a lot of opinions. Here's one way lawmakers work together to make your voice heard. A way to help them come to agreements and get things done by joining one of Parliament's political groups. At the European elections, you vote for national lists or parties in your country. The elected members of the European Parliament then build larger alliances with like-minded counterparts from across the EU, forming political groups. These are based on political affinity, not on nationality. Each one has its own section in Parliament's hemicycle. Parliament's current five-year term started off with eight political groups, but their number and size can change during the term as members leave, join or even set up new ones. Political groups play a key role in setting the Parliament's agenda. Members can scrutinize proposed legislation and table amendments. And by deciding how they would vote on laws and resolutions, groups help determine Parliament's position on big issues affecting all Europeans, like jobs, climate change and the EU's place in the world. But members cannot be obliged to vote in a certain way. So how are political groups formed? They need a minimum of 23 members of the European Parliament from at least seven EU countries. MEPs can only belong to one group at a time. Some belong to none. They are known as non-attached members. Groups ensure all opinions are reflected in a debate and taken into account in Parliament's work. Collaborating with colleagues who share their beliefs and values gives MEPs more power to represent you.